Hello and welcome to the OpenMX video tutorial series. In this video, we will be covering a latent regression structural equation model and some associated terminology. This is a structural equation model, specifically a multiple latent regression. In this model, there are three latent variables, x, y, and z, and each latent variable has three indicator variables. What is different about this model from previous examples in this video series is that we now have single-headed arrows in between some of the latent variables, indicating latent regression. Before we begin modeling this SEM in OpenMX, we should be familiar with these commonly used terms, measurement model, structural model, exogenous, and endogenous. The measurement model portion of an SEM is the part of the model that relates the latent variables to the manifest variables, thus identifying the latent variables. The structural model is the portion of the model that relates the latent variables to each other. This is the part of the model that most researchers would be interested in, but the validity of this part of the model is based heavily on how well the latent variables are identified by the measurement model. Latent variables can be exogenous or endogenous. Exogenous variables are variables that have no single-headed arrow pointing into them. This means that the variance parameter is an estimate of the variance of that latent variable. Endogenous variables are any variable with any number of single-headed arrows pointing into it. An endogenous variable can also have an arrow going from itself to another endogenous variable. Now let's attempt this model in OpenMX. First we load both OpenMX and our data, and inspect our data. We can see that we have nine manifest variables, three for each of our latent variables. We then store the names of these manifest variables into an object, and we store the names of our latent variables into a second object. Now we can begin our model. Manifest vars is the names of my manifest variables, and latent vars is the names of my latent variables. I am going to begin with creating part of my measurement model. I am going to measure my latent variable x by the three manifest variables x1, x2, and x3. Notice that I fix one of these loadings to be 1 by setting free equal to false for that loading and setting values equal to 1. This sets the scale of the latent variable to be on the same scale as this manifest variable. I then do the same for latent variables y and z. Then I set the structural part of this model, which in our case is the latent regression from x and y to z. Next I model the variance of x, the variance of y, the error variance of z, and the covariance between x and y. Finally, I create paths for the error variance of the manifest variables and the means of the manifest variables. I then run this model and its associated reference models. It appears that our model ran without any problems. Now let's inspect the latent regression coefficients. It seems that the path from y to z is pretty small. Maybe we don't need to model that. However, looking at our fit indices, this is already a fairly strong model. To test if we really need the regressions between x and z or y and z, we can create submodels to test against in an MX compare statement. Here I have created three models, one to test the regression between x and z, one to test the regression between y and z, and one to test both regressions at the same time. Running all of these models and using mxcompare to compare them to our full model, we see that the path between x and z is a pretty important path because dropping that significantly reduces the fit of our model. However, the path between y and z is not. Our model does not get worse by treating that path as zero. This indicates that our latent variable y does not significantly predict our latent variable z in this model. Thanks for watching.